Hello there friends and welcome back for another mod review. Today I have two mods to review for you guys. First up we have the Fent Tri-6 version 1.0 and the Crone ZX550 G Drake M20. Basically a loading wagon and a wind rower built into one or a rake or a tether, whatever you want to call it. It basically takes a wide path of material and puts it in one neat little path right in front of your loading wagon so you can scoop it on up. So what we're going to do guys is take a look at these. We're going to go over the shop and check out some of the specs and then I'm going to test them out and show you that they work properly and that they're really fantastic mods. So look at this monster. Some people are familiar with this, some people aren't. Check this out, the Tri-6. Talk about a powerhouse. Now there's two different variations of this. Not only can you take the doubles, you can take the singles, but there's a big difference in the horsepower as well. So, the file size is 53.91 megabytes. The price in the shop, there's, it's 450000 for this. Now, if you want to fully load it, it's going to cost 559000 The daily maintenance fee is between 150 and 260 The power ranges from in between 397 kilowatts and 540 horsepower. And get this, 919 kilowatts and 1250 horsepower. What a beast, man. So the max speed is the same for both variations, 67 kilometers an hour. So let's jump on inside and we'll test a few things. So the one with the duels looks really beastly. Look at that. It, it looks like something that should be on the moon. That's crazy looking, man. Oh, well, let's take a walk around first. I'm going to take my speed down here a little bit. And we'll look at this guy because there's not a trailer in my way. But look at the height of that. Fent Vario, got a nice shine to it as well. Look at the size of those tires. Huge, very, very nice job they did with this. Fantastic looking. So let's jump on inside and we'll take a look at a few things. We'll test it. Well, let's start it up first off. This thing's really loud. I had to turn my vehicle volume down because just listen to it. What a beast. Now, I hope that's not too loud, and at the same time, I hope it's not too low, but this thing is very powerful and loud. So let's try the lights. We have the uh, kind of the fog there in the lights. Some people like that, some people don't. I think it looks fantastic myself. And then we have some back lights, and then we have our overhead lights. Yeah, this thing looks great. Try our beacons. Great. Hazards work just fine so if our hazards work we know our signal lights are going to work most likely yes they will okay and we'll try our horn you can barely hear the horn over the engine very cool so i'm just going to shut it down for now just so it's a little bit more quiet i'm going to turn all this stuff off oh let's get a look at the lights from the back look at that there's even the uh the effect on the tail lights there as well so let's jump on inside the cab. Look at this thing, man. What a n nice job. Look how awesome that looks. Man, that looks great. There's so many buttons, buttons, buttons. All right, so we will have to start it back up, actually, because I want to see if the speedometer works. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. I love this thing, guys. Okay, let's bring up the old menu screen there in the top left hand corner. We can see that there's no extra features such as IC controls and stuff, but that's that's fine. Just look at this thing. Beautiful. <clears throat> this thing is awesome. What is that round thing down there? I'm not too sure what that is, but yeah. So we jump on out turn off our lights and we will take a look at the chrome drake over here like I said this is a loading wagon with a rake attached I'm not sure what the work width is they don't list it but like I said it's the chrome ZX 550g Drake m20 the file size is 3.16 megabytes price in the shop is only 800 daily maintenance fee is 10 the capacity this is a little ridiculous here but I mean you can always adjust that and I wouldn't advise to go over a hundred thousand liters but apparently it can hold two million five hundred thousand liters 
So yeah, I wouldn't go anywhere near that. I, I'd stop around a hundred thousand because I noticed some of the comments people were saying that it doesn't handle very good after about a hundred thousand liters. So just keep that in mind. Like I said, the work width is not listed, and we have a work speed of twenty-five kilometers an hour. So let's go over the shop, and then we'll go test these out. Okay, so. The Tri-6 will be located in your tractor section. There it is right there for almost a half a million dollars. It definitely isn't cheap. But like I said, there's two different variations. There's the Vario T500 and there's the Vario T Proto. And look at the horsepower. Boom. And then you got your standard wheels and your twin wheels. So that's basically it for that one. And... The Drake will be located under your uh, loading wagons. Just go out right to the end to find your mod. There it is for $800. You can't change anything about this. You just got to take it as is. But let's go test these out, guys. So we'll jump in the big, bigger monster here. We'll stir them on up and we'll hook back up to that. So I think even if you filled this thing, this thing would probably still be able to pull it. But I do have uh, a few tippers set up over there. I have 300,000 liters of grain that I would like to test that out on. I'm going to... So as far as controls, we have just the uh, V button to get that down and lowered. That controls everything. And then, of course, your B button, your B key will start it all up. Look at the back of that, too. Get some chains, get fire extinguisher. Very cool. So I wouldn't doubt if that does cost a half a million dollars in real life. It would not surprise me. I just pray you guys can hear me over that. Okay, let's start this up, and we'll try it out. So you're not going to see any accumulation in the back, obviously, since it holds 2.5 million liters. But we can see that it is picking all this up. Look at the work width on that, guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're getting 9 lines of uh, grass here. So, I mean, that thing will make short work of this, especially a company with this. Wow. Wow. Let's test the beacons on this. Yeah, the beacons work just fine on the chrome here. Very, very cool. Okay, we're just going to go up to here. I'm going to shut that down for a second. We'll do another pass. Let's clear the screen here so we can get a little bit... Okay, I better lift that just momentarily so I can get set up for the next pass. Man, I love this thing. I think I'm most definitely going to be adding this to my farm. I would say so. Look at this. I'd say like four passes you'll have all this done. Yeah, look, there's no accumulation at all in the back of this. So like I said, if you know how to go into the uh, settings and lower that, I would do that. Let's bring this back up so we can see. Look, we got over 100,000 liters in there already. Mind you, I mowed this and uh, mowed it again. And it's probably, well, it's not ready for another cut just yet, but close to it. So you guys get the gist. Very powerful. Two very cool mods. Definitely come in handy on the farm. No doubt about it. We're going to be able to pick that stuff up now. Because that is hay, that is not grass. Okay, we'll shut this down. Very cool. Really, really like that. Alright. Let's get our speed mod on because we have one more test to give. We'll take this guy. This guy has the same amount of horsepower. He's all ramped up. He just only has the, uh, the only difference is the uh, singles on it, the single wheels. So let's get rid of this. I can't believe how beautiful this is inside. Like what a fantastic job. That dashboard looks fantastic. Okay, let's get hooked up to this monster. 
put our beacons on just for the effect try to match everything color wise now I can't really put this to a big test because I'm not on a map that uh, has big hills on it unfortunately there we go but we're on the gold crest map so we'll just go up this little hill here and see how it handles like I said there's over 300,000 well there is exactly 300,000 liters it's not showing the third tipper for some reason in the bottom right hand corner but let's get cracking here So, like I said, this is 1,250 horsepower being put to the test. Let's go cab view. Man, this got a beautiful interior. She's struggling a little bit. I mean, it's we're at a constant 25 kilometers here, so that ain't half bad. I don't. Oh no, I didn't realize it was a mess up here. I don't know if we're gonna get caught up on those logs or what, but. This thing is awesome. Look at this. Oh! Okay, it takes a little bit to slow down when you have that much weight on there. I don't know if I was ever up this neck of the woods. Obviously, I was over here, but I don't think I ever tur turned up this way. And there we have it, guys. What a beast. And like I said, I'll be adding this to my firm, so there's no doubt about that one. All right, so let's turn our lights on. Very cool. Let's shut this off so we can have a little bit of quiet while I say goodbye. So there you have it, guys. That is the double mod review down in the books. We had the Fent Tri-6 version 1.0. And the Crone ZX550 G Drake M20. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you could leave a like on your way out. And guys, if you want to consider donating to my Patreon, I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, guys, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen. And I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. So guys, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.